It's a hard life. It's a rough life. An endless struggle to please fickle customers and deal with greedy competitors in a fast-paced industry. But remember, that's the life you chose when you opted to play Food Chain Magnate. Hi, my name is Chris, and welcome to my board game guides. Today we're going to learn the very basics of how to play Food Chain Magnate. In part one, which is what you're watching right now, we'll cover the very bare bones to get you up and running and help you understand why you want to do certain things. In part two, which I'll post later, we'll dig into the mechanisms just a bit further to really get you into the game. Let's go! In Food Chain Magnate, you are the CEO, the head honcho, the big kahuna. You had a money-grubbing corporation competing against other money-grubbing corporations with the goal of, you guessed it, making as much money as possible. You do so by establishing a fast food restaurant to sell foods like burgers and pizza and drinks like lemonade, beer, and Coke to the people living in your city. But your customers aren't going to magically show up because that would be too easy. You have to get them interested in the foods and drinks you have to offer by dazzling them with various archaic marketing campaigns like billboards, mailbox flyers, airplanes, and radio ads. No internet ads just yet. But to make sure you can get them into your restaurant and not someone else's, you'll need to make sure to keep prices low. Better that you get the business rather than your competitors. More on that later. Setting this all up requires an organization, a corporate organization to be more exact, with you as the CEO managing your multitude of minions. What you do during each step will decide whether your restaurant thrives or dies in this dog-eat-dog world. So the very first thing you need to do is to create your corporate structure. That is, you put together something that resembles an org chart where you manage various employees and or your management team and your managers on your management team can then manage more rank and file employees. The employees that you put in your org chart will determine what sorts of things you can do that day. You'll want to have HR people to hire and train up folks for promotion, middle managers to oversee operations and other minions, Marketing folks to turn people into zombies with an insatiable urge to buy products. Kitchen staff to make the burgers and pizza. Drivers to fetch you drinks. And a whole crew of other folks to expand business opportunities, offer customers better service, open more franchises, and even help you launch price wars against your competition so that you get all the business. You'll do this each turn. Figure out who you want in your org chart, and begin your day. There are even some special milestones, like the handy-dandy refrigerator, that you can get to make your life easier. But those won't last long, so you'll have to be the first to achieve them, or else be left out in the cold. But once you do, it's yours for life. So that is Food Chain Magnate's core actions in a nutshell. Make the most money out of everyone playing, and you win! Just don't try the Hooter strategy, because that doesn't work. So hopefully this barebones basic explanation is helpful for the folks looking to get into the fast food business. Subscribe if you want to see more basic gameplay or board game strategy videos, and I'll see you next time. Or if you really want to learn how to play the full game of Food Chain Magnate, click on the show notes below for a link to the infinitely longer and definitely more detailed video to get the rundown on how to play Food Chain Magnate.